Okay, now we're going to go over the concept of factoring by grouping. So, here, when I ask you to factor this, you look for the GCF. The GCF is 2. You say, okay, 2x divided by 2 is x, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And to check it, you'd say 2 times x plus 2 times 2 is 4. Here, you look for the GCF, which is 3. You say 3x divided by 3 is x, negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3. Now, if we look at this expression, looks a little strange, but still, what do we notice is a common factor in each one? x plus 2 and x plus 2. So, if I divide this by x plus 2, I get 3x. And if I divide this by x plus 2, I get negative 2. So I pull out the x plus 2, and I'm left with 3x minus 2. Okay, so now if I was to check this by multiplying here, I'm going to put this over here. 3x times x plus 2 minus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, now for this one, I pull out an n minus 1, and what do I have left when I pull out n minus 1? I have 3n squared, and here I have plus 1. So now, if I multiply 3n by n plus 1, and I multiply 1 by n plus 1, okay? So this is something you need to be able to do before you factor by grouping. So let's try a few more. So here, m squared times m minus 6 plus 2 times m minus 6. What's the common factor? m minus 6. When I pull out m minus 6, what do I have left? m squared here, and what do I have left here? Plus 2. So I'm left with this. Now let's try one more. y squared times y minus 4 plus 3 times 4 minus y. Now looking at this, I'm like, well, it kind of looks like y minus 4 is the common factor, but this is actually 4 minus y. Well, when you notice that you have the exact same numbers or variables, but opposite signs for all of them, that means you can pull out a negative 1. And if I was to divide this by negative 1, so in other words, pull out a negative 1, I'd make this negative 3, this would become negative 4, this would become positive 3, and now I notice y minus 4 is my common term, and I'm left with y squared minus 3. Okay, this is factoring by grouping. Well, th this is what you need to know to factor by grouping. Now, when we're actually going to use factoring by grouping, I will show you. Now, suppose I have this, and I ask you to FOIL that. Well, you know that becomes 3x squared minus 15x minus 2x plus 10. Okay? So, now, if I said to you, can you factor this expression, you're going to say, well, no, because although this has an x, this has an x, and this has an x, this doesn't. And there is no GCF to that four-term expression. So when there's no GCF to a four-term expression, sometimes you can factor by grouping. So I group these two together and these two together. I look for a common factor here. What's my common factor here? 3x. What do I have left when I take out 3x? I have x minus 5. Here, what's a common factor? I'm going to say negative 2. What do I get when I take out a negative 2? I get x minus 5. Now look what I have here. Now I have a common factor. And my common factor is x minus 5. And when I divide by x minus 5 and divide by x minus 5, what's left? 3x minus 2. So you see how it came full circle. You FOIL, you get four terms. 
you can factor by grouping, pull out a common factor, and you end up back where you started again. Okay? So, I'm going to give, we're going to just practice factoring by grouping. So here we have y cubed plus 7y squared plus 2y plus 14. So I want you to copy that down and we're going to try to factor this by grouping. Now, if you're told to factor this, the first thing you're going to notice is there's four terms but not one common factor. So then you say, okay, let me try factoring by grouping. I'm going to take y squared out of here, I get y plus 7. I'm going to take a 2 out of here, I get y plus 7. Now I notice y plus 7 is my common factor, and I'm left with y squared plus 2. And if I want to check to see if I'm right, I FOIL, and I get y cubed plus 2y plus 7y squared plus 14, and again, I back where I started. So let's try another one y squared plus 2y plus yx plus 2x. So let's factor this by grouping. Group these two, group these two. I take out a y, I get y plus 2. Here I take out an x, I get y plus 2. So now I have y plus 2 times y plus x. Okay? Now, Let's look at this. x cubed minus 12 plus 3x minus 4x squared. Now, if I try to factor this by grouping, it's not going to work. And it's not going to work because this has no common factor other than 1, and this just has a common factor of x. But I can regroup these. Now, notice this is not written in descending order. So I'm going to rewrite it in descending order and see if that helps me and if factoring by grouping will work. So I'm going to group those two and group these two. I take out x squared, I get x minus 4. I take out a 3, I get x minus 4. So this becomes x minus 4 times x squared plus 3. Okay, so sometimes you do have to rewrite it and usually, if you notice, it's really not in descending order. And that will help you with factoring by grouping. Okay, now in your packets, let's see where it is. In your packets on page 55 and 56, there is practice problems for factoring by grouping.